thank all of you because without you, um, we would programming would be almost minimal. Mm -hmm. Most of our most of our programming comes from volunteers. Mm -hmm. 80% of the programming that we have in the facility mm -hmm. comes from you all. Amen. So thank you. Hey y'all and welcome to DJS TV. I'm Richard Burton, your host, and we have a dynamic show for you today because we have good friend of mine and co-worker, Ms. Chantia Lindsay. Chantia, now hold on. Now I don't know if you got promoted or you've been moved around. Let me get this right. You are the the residential program service coordinator for the state yes go ahead girl i just know you work hard <laughs> every time i see you, you you're doing something making something wonderful happen for our young people and i just want to personally thank you for all the years just working with you and lisa and jessica y'all I mean y'all awesome thank you so you know much what I mean? thank you for having me but let me ask you this getting on with it tell us a little bit about your role as a residential um program service coordinator. Okay, so a little bit about what I do um, is I'm responsible for all the volunteers, interns, contracted programmers that does like recreational programming and programming around like life skills and mm -hmm. mentoring, um, as well as the YOLO program. So uh, YOLO, yeah, that's the next question, YOLO but go ahead, program. go ahead, you're right on track, but, go ahead. Um, for, for volunteers, I'm responsible for making sure, you know, that we guide them through the application process so that they can bring in different programming that helps support our young people and their families in different ways. Because I was about to ask you in any updates on the YOLO program, because I know you're always moving and shaking and making things happen. Yeah, the YOLO program is going great. Um, right. In the residential facilities, uh, we have Backbone, Victor Cullen, as well as Green Ridge. We have mm. um, a partnership with the Department of Natural Resources as well as the Maryland Department of the Environment, mm -hmm. which was set up by Vinny. Um, him and the other secretaries in those agencies uh, have agreed to allow our young people to come and work at, at those agencies off-site. So our kids oh, go off-site okay. to work um, throughout the week, three days a week, and they're gaining valuable you know, work experience that they can transfer, that can be transferred when they go back into the community uh, to other jobs or even jobs within those two agencies. Now, you know, Shantia, first of all, do you like to be called Shantia or Tia? Tia. Tia, see that? Well, first of all, Tia, every time we hear your name, it's synony synonymous with uh, volunteers, interns, because you're the volunteer lady. Yes. And you make things happen. Now, a little later, we're going to show, and she said, DJS TV, we get all the footage, you know? <laughs> so we have some footage from an event that you did that was just awesome. But yeah. tell us a little something. Um, regarding the volunteers and the interns, what's new? Well, I know you have some new stuff popping. Absolutely. So, um, like you said, the event you mentioned was our first mm -hmm. uh, volunteer appreciation event in 20 years. And we had over 100 volunteers come out to a site that um, one of our volunteers who, the Church of God, Jeff Pulley, he's awesome. Mm. They donated the venue for us to have that event. And it was awesome because we some of the volunteers had the opportunity to interact with each other and they had never met before. So it was like a network and an exchange of information amongst the volunteers, as well as them giving testimony of some of the awesome work and awesome experiences that they've had since they've been at DJS. And so you, 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 you right, you, you rolling with it. Cause I was about to ask you some of the special events and activities that you may have, you know, have coming up. So we have, um, Coming up, we, we are doing the career exploration series, which we do once a month, where we bring on professionals from different backgrounds to showcase or oh, yeah, give yeah, our yeah. kids some ideas mm -hmm. about uh, different different professions and what the, their walk looked like, how they what steps they took to get there, how much money they make in those professions, because you all know, the kids always want to know. Right, how right, much right. money can you make? Right, right. Um, but we try to expose them to different professionals or different careers that they may not have thought about before. I had the so, pleasure of participating, you know, I think months and months ago, I was talking to the young people about music mm -hmm. and acting. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and they, yeah, they want to know <laughs> they do. Money, how much money you make. Absolutely. And we try to make sure that the youth's voice is heard, meaning if they say that we're interested in this career, we're interested in entrepreneurship, we're interested in truck driving, we're interested in fashion. So mm -hmm. this month, August, 
uh, we are having two individuals in the fashion industry. And actually, oh. one of the individuals used to work for DJS, Asia Trice. She has a clothing line called Strut. Okay. Um, and she'll they'll they'll be coming in as, along with uh, a, a young man who's a sneaker designer for, for Under Armour. Get He's out of here! At, yeah, this you make it happen. Yeah. And you know what, Tia? It, it 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 just goes into the next question, and that is, you know, it takes Lottie, Dottie, and everybody to make this this dream work. When we're Absolutely. talking about working with our young people, what are some of the collaborations? I know you mentioned one Reverend that you were working with, but I know you've had some great collaborations and partnerships to yes. make this happen. Within the agency as well as with community stakeholders. So within the agency, I work very closely. We call ourselves a dream team with Lisa LaPrade, Champs, um, Jessica mm -hmm. Dickerson, and OEI. I have to get um, the dream team on the show. All three of y'all. I mean, we have another chair. Yeah. Can you make that happen for me? There are some awesome ladies. Okay. We can make that happen. We will all come and talk about some of the great things that we're doing. Um, also, I work with closely with JSEP, um, Ms. Pogue, Trisha Coyle. Um, and Stancil, who he's, he's actually an RA, but I work closely with them to, to work on like GED tutoring, which mm. has increased the numbers in, in GED okay. um, for, for this year. I also work with you all, the communications right, team, right, right. Um, to get the great work news out about the great work that we're doing. Um, some other people that I work with, Mr. Butts, he's also in JSTAP. Oh, yeah. The Workforce Development Unit, Fred. So you got all the heavy Marty. hitters. You, you have the right people you work yes. with. We're working together to make sure that we are providing like a holistic approach, like a well-rounded approach to making sure that we are addressing all of the needs of our young people well, guess and their what? families. Well, guess what? you know, you don't have to talk about the good work you do because, you know, we, we, we followed you now. We have some footage. Matter of fact, y'all take a look. Okay, so I've spoken a couple of places, but never had a volunteer mm -hmm. appreciation banquet. Mm -hmm. I said to myself, what in the world can I possibly talk about? What can I tell or say to these awesome, awesome volunteers? So I'm learning, and I'm learning from um, everyone in this room today. Um, but what I really want to share is my first day at VictorCon. Mm -hmm. I can remember that. It still brings tears to my ears, mm -hmm. up to my eyes, because um, I too do music. I'm a coach. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I like to coach the girls, helping them help themselves to a better way of life. And with that, I bring music. So I bring a record player. Now they have never seen a record player. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask you one last question. I know we didn't prepare you for this, okay. but everybody that watches DGS TV, uh, they know about this bonus question. You have to tell your colleagues and coworkers something about you that they don't know. Wow. Maybe you 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 love to do ballet dancing or Marty dancing or something I, they don't know. I love fashion, um, mm. so I also like have a little fashion line um, that I work on. When I'm not working for DJS, yeah, which is pretty cool, pretty dope. And also, I am the oldest of 13. 13 so I children? So 12 sisters and brothers. And Get out I of here. I am the oldest of 13. Get out of here. You always had somebody to talk to, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, T, I just want to thank you for coming here and, and sharing all this good news with DJS TV. You have to promise you're going to come back. I will. All right. Catch you next time for some more DJS TV.